in our faith as we depend on him fully and she you know you see like mary was strengthened and you were strong in the faith and when the angel said nothing is impossible with god she believed it she received it and and we need to know that he has a power to do what he wills hallelujah whatever god plans whatever god wills for your life god has the pl- power to accomplish it even though abraham was without child for many many years but yet because god had promised and abraham believed god that whatever he promised will come true he ha- he knew that he had the power to fulfill whatever he spoke you just need to believe hallelujah amen Brother sister this morning let your faith be replenished again you know in a fresh way for the concerns of your life for the needs of your life for the things that you're waiting for for the blessings that you're waiting for in your life may God strengthen your faith this morning that you will rise up and say my God will supply all my needs according to his riches in glory hallelujah amen whatever be it God is able to supply and so when you you know exercise your faith when you step out in faith and move towards a purpose that god has for your life god will begin to you know fulfill his purposes in your life quickly number 4 you know god gave him a right direction clear strategy a direction right direction you know chapter 7 verses 1 to 8 we read early in the morning jerubal that is gideon and all his men camped to the spring of herod the camp of midian was north of them in the valley near the hill of more The Lord said to Gideon you have too many men for me to deliver Midian into your hands in order that Israel may not boast against me that her own strength had saved her announce now to the people anyone who trembles with fear may turn back and leave Mount Gilead so 22000 men left while 10000 remained you see in this whole process when God when God had called Gideon Gideon gave a call to people you know to come and fight the battle along with him You know Gideon was not a king Gideon was not appointed by you know the people of Israel he was not voted into power but because God had called him God brought in the people along with him who will stand with him who will support him who will fight and go on a war along with him hallelujah who will trust and follow somebody who has never been there and done that but God when God is in it God makes those things to happen hallelujah Praise the Lord. You may say who will trust me and give me a job. You may say who will trust me and give me a business. You may say who will trust me. You know, but you know when God is in your life, you know God will bring people into your life. Hallelujah. God will bring resources. God will bring support. God will bring things that will come to pass, make you to fulfill God's purpose in your life. Hallelujah. You need to just step out and 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 look for God's direction. And Gideon was getting God's direction here. And when 22,000, 32,000 men came, God said, "Oh no, no, these are too many for me." Hallelujah. Sometimes we think the greater the we think greater the number, the more the strength. You know, whether it's bank balance or whether it's people or whatever we had greater the number, more the strength. But you know, for God, you know, even lesser the number his strength is awesome and mighty hallelujah from 32000 he brought down to 10000 and then he again divided them by those who lap like a dog and drink water and those who take it with their hands and drink and then he divided them and finally there are only 300 who remained hallelujah from 32000 to god what you know people will think that they will accomplish through certain number of you know things and uh, and 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 stuff and capacities god can accomplish even through 10% hallelujah people think if you have all of these things you can do stuff but you know with even 10% of that you still be able to do what those things will not do hallelujah Amen you may not have everything that you need right now but even with very less when God is in it God is able to use that for his glory and his power will be made manifest through his you know even through the little things that little boy brought five loaves and two fish and God multiplied it and fed 5000 little things are much when it's in God's hands Hallelujah give what you have in God's hands use what you have and God will use you amen Hallelujah step out in faith and begin to do what God wants you to do what is your burden what is your desire what is your burning you know desire that God has put in your heart step out and do it and God will open opportunities for you and he will use you and that was also the word of prophecy that we received this morning you know that God is going to use us God is going to open doors hallelujah and when there's an open door and God wants to use you like he used Gideon why why pull back why stop why think low of yourself why say i can't do anything 
Amen. Hallelujah. Even Roshan was so afraid to come and speak up here this morning. And I said, you know, come on, do it. You know, God will give you the grace. Hallelujah. Amen. Probably he's never done these kind of things before. But you know, even those things you've never done before, you start doing them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. I go out to lead a, 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 a student ministry movement who is now transitioning and also expanding into a church planting movement. And I, I'm training these leaders for the last six months. Something that I've never done before. You know, sometimes God puts us in places and some people came along and pushed me into it. And I said, hey, you guys are, you know, plotting and you pushed me into it. <laughs> but you know, but this was something that God opened up uh, an opportunity and, and now there are new things that I'm dealing with, new things that I have to talk about, new things that I have to teach. And, but God is helping me to do that and helping to shape this whole ministry. Amen. Hallelujah. So God will sometimes put you into places in, among people where you've never done these things before. But God will give you the plan. God will give you the strategy. God will give you the direction. God will give you the capacity, the wisdom that you need at that moment. Amen. You say, I have no capacity to speak. I have no knowledge. But God will put words in your mouth when you have to speak. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You know, this is how God leads his people. And so, you know, he received a clear direction of how many people, who are the people. You know, whoever God wants to send, whatever God wants to give, God will give. You know, and you see in verse number four, this is powerful. But the Lord said to Gideon, there are still too many men. Take them down to the water and I will sift them for you there. If I say this one shall go with you, he shall go. But if I say this one shall not go with you, he shall not go. Hallelujah. What we need, let God give. What we don't need, let God take away. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. What, we, what God wants us to have, if we have, that is good enough to accomplish God's purpose. Hallelujah. I want somebody to say aloud, hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. If you believe that, hallelujah. What God wants you to have, if you have, that's good enough. What God does not want you to have, if you don't have, don't worry about it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because that will help you God's, fulfill God's purpose. Number five, quickly. Receive encouragement. You need to receive encouragement. Amen. We all need to be encouraged. There are some people who are highly self-motivated by themselves. But there are some of us who really need encouragement. And God uses different situations to encourage us. God uses different people to encourage us. In chapter 7, in you see verse number 9 to 15. During the night, the Lord said to Gideon, get up, go down to the camp. Against the camp. Because I'm going to give it in your hands. Now this is the moment. This is a moment of battle. This is a moment of taking control of this, you know, the nation of Midian and attacking them. If you're afraid to attack, go down to the camp with your servant Pura. You see, God knew that Gideon was still afraid. And Gideon was indeed really afraid. And listen to what they are saying. Afterward, you will be encouraged to attack the camp. So he and Pura, Pura his servant, went down to the outposts of the camp. The Midianites, the Amalekites and all the other eastern peoples had settled in the valley thick as locusts. Their camels could no more be counted than the sand of the seashore. Gideon arrived just as a man was telling a friend his dream. You know, one in the enemy camp is telling, I had a dream. He was saying, a round loaf of barley bread came down tumbling into the Midianite camp. It struck the tent with such force that the tent overturned and collapsed. His friend responded, this can be nothing other than the sword of Gideon, son of Joash, the Israelites. The Israelite, God has given the Midianites and the whole camp into his hands. You see, the enemy is prophesying. <laughs> Hallelujah. Even the most unexpected people will come encouraging you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God will use different people in different situations to encourage us, to move on, to get hold of the thing that God has taken hold of us, of us for. And God is using this uh, these words of these men in the enemy camp and what they are saying and they are actually in fear. They are actually having a dream and they are talking about and when Gideon heard the dream and its interpretation, verse 15, he worshipped God. He returned to the camp of Israel and called out, get up, the Lord has given the Midianite camp into our hands. You see the tone of Gideon now from where he began and look at the way he speaks now. Get up now. God has given us the Midianite camp into our hands. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. The way you speak will begin to change. The way you think of things will begin to change. Hallelujah. You need to receive some encouragement and God is bringing you encouragement this morning to pursue the goal that God has set before you. To pursue the purpose that God has. The, to fulfill the assignment that God has in your life. Don't sit back. Don't, don't, don't sit in your comfort zone and God will disturb you from your comfort zone. Get up and go and say, Lord, tell me what I should do. Hallelujah. Realize this morning that you are God called person. Realize this morning that God has a plan and purpose for your life. Renounce idolatry and replenish your faith and, and receive right direction from God. And God will send you encouragement. If you receive, as you receive encouragement this morning, it will propel you to move forward like Gideon did. And the point that I want to make in conclusion is this. Gideon's action. Gideon's response to God's call and Gideon's purpose for his life and what God wanted him to do was so critical that the lives of all of the people of Israel was hanging in a balance on what Gideon will do or will not do. What Gideon will do or will not do is going to determine the fate of all the people of Israel. Your obedience, your movement, your actions, your faith, you renouncing adultery, you realizing God has called me, you receiving encouragement, you receiving right direction from God is all going to make a difference in the lives of many others. Would you respond? So we're not just talking about you. We're talking about many people. Hallelujah. We're talking about large numbers of people. Whom you are going to touch, whom you are going to transform, whom you are going to influence, whom you are going to change, whom you are going to bless, whom you are going to heal, whom you are going to deliver. It's all going to depend on what you are going to do or what you will not do. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You see how powerful your life is. You see how significant your life is. You see how purposeful your life is. You see how meaningful your life is. Hallelujah. While you think there's nothing good about you. While you think there's no purpose in my life. While you see your situations of your life like Gideon did. And you don't see anything good. God is seeing something good and beautiful that's going to come out of your life. Hallelujah. Many lives are waiting on you. Many families are waiting on you. Oh, you're saying... Hi, myself, we are having a family problem here. You're talking about other families? Oh, yes. 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 You're saying we are having health problems. You're talking about healing others? Yes. You're saying, oh, we have relationship issues. You're talking about dealing with other people's relationships? Yes. I myself, I'm depressed. You're talking about me helping others in depression? Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Brother, sister, you can't remain silent anymore. It's time to rise up. Hallelujah. God is raising up a Gideon army this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You either be a Gideon or at least you join a Gideon. I'm not talking about joining Gideon's ministry. <laughs> Gideon's ministry is very simple. Just go give Bibles. I'm talking about joining a Gideon, a God-called man, a God-called purpose. Hallelujah. Like the men who came, the 300 who came and joined Gideon. You either be a Gideon who will take the lead or at least join the one who's taking a lead. Hallelujah. And you will see your purposeful life you know, accomplishing great and mighty things for God.